In this video, we are going to be using the tell raw again. We used it to make a simple message before with a little bit of color. This time we are going to use it to make some text in the chat that we can click on to run a command. And also we can hover over the text to get a message. So let's get started on that. I am going to want three command blocks and I want the command block chain to run that way. So let's come over here. There we go. There's my arrow pointing off in that direction. And let's just do tell raw at everyone so everyone can see the message. And this will be the message. The message will consist of one element. So let's do speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. And it will be a text. OK. Please choose an option from below. Done. Let's put a button on that. OK, please choose an option from below. Let's press F3 and D to clear the text. Now, if I press T, my chat window is empty. It looks cleaner. You don't have to do that. Please choose an option from below. OK, that's quite nice. Let's copy that. So control and press down on middle mouse button. And we'll have two of those. Actually, just do one for now. And we'll change it to always active chain. And we will have text. Um, green wool, that'll do. And actually, let's give it a color. If it's going to be green wool, let's give it a speech mark, speech marks, code on speech marks, speech marks. Let's give it a color as well. American spelling of color. And we'll give it green. Done. OK, and let's control middle mouse button to copy that and its contents. Cancel. There we go. Uh, green wool or a redstone block. Uh, red would make sense for that, wouldn't it? There we go. OK, F3 and D. Clear the chat window. Please choose an option from below. OK, well, it's not going to do anything yet. Click on that. Click, 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 click. We're going to have to tell it what to do. So let's pick a random block. This will do just here. Fill, tab, tab, tab. The usual way we get the coordinates of a block. Control C to copy them. OK, text. Let's go right to the end and put a comma. And we are going to put a click event. OK, so a click event. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, open and close, curly brackets. And in here is where we say it's a click event. Now inside the curly brackets, we're going to need two things. So let's do one speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks, one comma, speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks, two. OK, the first, what is this click event doing? Well, it's going to do an action. What is that action? It's going to be a run command. OK. Well, which command? What is the value? The value will be, and we do need the, the uh, slash for the command, and we will set a block at the coordinates I copied. And this is green wool. Yeah. Green wool, and we'll do replace so it doesn't drop anything, or do particles. Done. OK, now let's copy that entire click event. Oh, that's quite hard to do. Now let's write it again. Let's practice. Best to practice. So let's do a new click event in here. Comma. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, open and close brackets. It is a click event. One, two. What will be the click event's action? The action will be to run a command. What is the value of the command? The value is slash set block at the block redstone block replace. Done. OK, let's clear that chat because there's a lot of stuff there. Press the button. Nice. What do we get now? Green wool, redstone block, green wool, redstone block. 
hey, nice and easy. You could use that to open a door or anything you like. That redstone block could power any other command. But what you'll find if you make this on a fresh map, you will have game rule send command feedback. I start typing it and press tab to autofill. That will be set to true by default. Um, you will probably turn it off on your map. I suggest you do because repeating command blocks will have commands streaming up the screen and that will look awful. But if we run the command now, we will see that when we click on the text, it tells us it changes the block. Now that is awful. So don't forget the slash game rule send tab to autofill false. Let's turn that off. It's off now. So it's not telling us this is much nicer. Cool. But if we have a green block and we try to place a green block, could not set the block, could not set the block, could not set the block. Oh, that, see, that doesn't look very nice either. It's looking, it's saying there's a green block there already. So I'm not going to place a green block. Therefore, I cannot set the block. OK, well, we can get around that. Uh, not with the command, unfortunately. Not that I know of. Um, Let's pick an area. Let's pick here. Fill. Tab, tab, tab to get the coordinates of that block. Copy. And here in green wool, we are going to change the coordinates here. And we'll change that to a redstone block as well. Redstone block. Done. So now if I press green wool, F3 and D, clear the chat. We get a redstone block there. Okay, that's fine. And let's get the coordinates of this block. And we're going to change this one. So now, oh, it didn't clear the text. So it's all untidy, never mind. Redstone block. So now we're changing these. This isn't being changed. Okay, that's not a problem. What we will do is we will put a command block here and we will grab the coordinates of this set block green wool replace done and then we will control middle mouse to copy that and its contents and we will change that to a redstone red stone block okay so let's remove these it's green wool at the moment let's remove that let's let's try f3 and d clear the chat nice and tidy t to open text green wool that works redstone block that works but we've still got the problem because this redstone block or these new ones that we've just put next to each other they're still there, so it can't place them now. Hmm. Okay, so what we'll do is we will remove them and underneath, let's get rid of all of that. We will have a set block, but we will say the block one above me, change that to a white wool. Done. And I am going to control middle mouse to copy that and put it there. Yep. Now let's try. F3 and D, clear the chat. So, green wool, redstone block, green wool, redstone block, green wool, green wool, green wool. Now we don't get the message. See, this block is being changed back to white wool so fast that we can put another redstone block there. So it's always going to be able to place the block. Excellent. Okay. That's a bit tidier. Now we're going to add a hover event. So we're going to go right to the end. This is similar to how the click event is laid out. Comma. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, open and close, curly brackets. This is a hover event. And it will have one, two elements in there. The first one, well, what's the first one? On hover, what are we going to do? So what's the action? The action we will take will be to show some text. Show text. Okay. What text? The text will be 
Uh, so this is the green wall. I suppose we could call this close the door. Done. F3 and D. Now we hover over the top. Nothing. Wow, okay. What have we done wrong? Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Well, a hover event, show text, needs contents. Okay. So let's redo the whole hover event so we don't get confused. So there's our command. Open and close. It is a hover event. It will have an action and it has contents. Contents are done a little bit differently. Okay, so we've got action, speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. That's our action. Show text. Then we have this little bit here. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, open square brackets, open curly brackets, close curly brackets, close square brackets. And this will be the contents. And what will the contents be? Well, the contents will be some text, some text. And what will the text be? What did we say? We said close the door. Okay, let's try that. Done. F3 and D. Ah, that's better. Close the door. We can see it appearing there. Close the door. Can we make that green? We should be able to change its color. So it probably here, it's a text. So in between these square brackets, this is our text here. So we want to affect the text. So let's come behind the text there and say, speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. Let's give it a color of green. Okay, what have we done wrong there? Close the door. Ah, we have got the curly bracket there. That's not where we want the curly bracket. Let's put the curly bracket after the color green, like that. So now we have, inside the curly brackets, we have this bit. Speech marks, text, speech marks, colon, speech marks, close the door, speech marks. Then we have a comma. And we have the second bit, which is the color, and then we close the curly brackets. Okay, so let's try that. F3D, clear the chat. Excellent, so green wool will close the door. Redstone block does nothing. Now, should we type it all again? Probably the better way to do it. Right at the end here, go back one. There we go, it will be a hover event. And the hover event has what? It has an action and it has contents. So it has an action, which will be to show, that's not how you spell text. And it will have some contents doesn't like that at the moment. It won't like it till I put the text in. And uh, the contents is an array. So we'll need square brackets around that. And then is a text. And what is the text? I suppose the text will be open the door. Okay. Didn't check it. Will it work? Open the door, close the door, open the door, close the door. Excellent. Let's make that red to open the door. So here is the text. Text. So after the text, before we close the brackets this time. There we go. And we want a color and we're going to call it red. Red 
Green seems like it should open the door, and red seems like it should close it, but that's not the colours we've picked. So, we've got a colour red in there. Okay, F3D. Green wall is open the door. No, green wall is close the door. Green seems like open to me. Red wall is open. There we go. That is working. Nice. We don't actually have a door. We get a door? Door. Give me that door. We'll just put it here. There we go. That'll do. Ugly, ugly, ugly door. Press the button. Close the door. Open the door. Close the door. Open the door. Close the door. Open the door. Excellent. So that is working fine. So that is how we use the Telraw to create some text that we uh, can click on to perform an action or run a command. And what we're doing there, we've got a little hover text just in case we wanted to add any extra information. Obviously, we don't have to. We could just say, instead of saying green wool, we could just say close the door, open the door, much quicker and easier. But this shows you how to use the hover text as well. Okay, so that is that. Uh, that's how we uh, use text to run a command through chat.